Flip Wilson Special. With Flip Jeff, Diane Carroll, Freddie Prince, Paul Williams, the Mr. Beauty Pageant contestant featuring Miss Los Angeles, Geraldine Jones. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Flip Wilson. Thanks, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I want to say good evening and welcome to the show. But first, I want to say that this is not a part of the special. The special has not started. It won't be starting for another five minutes. This is just a little... No, see, this time comes out... No, no, see, I wanted to have... It's been a while since I had a chance to do a monologue and to talk to the people like I like to do at the beginning of my show. It's been a while. So I said to myself, I'm going to come out and I'm going to do some, some stories. I picked some stories to give to people as Christmas presents. I picked, uh, really, really, I picked some stories there. Some oldies, but goodies. Some of the stories have a great past. And some of them, after tonight, I'm sure will have no future. <laughs> now, Officer Doolittle was this uh, very, very popular police officer in a little town in the Midwest that you'll go unnamed as of this moment. But he was on duty at their headquarters when the call came in. The call was a very urgent call. It was from some guy complaining about a gorilla. The seller said there was a gorilla blocking the traffic on Main Street. And would Officer Doolittle please come down and take the gorilla to the zoo? Officer Doolittle said, well, I've never had any experience handling gorillas. He said, uh, what, did you call the fire department? He said, yes, call Doolittle. He said, uh-huh. He said, well, is the gorilla, does he appear to be dangerous? I said, no, he's not dangerous. The gorilla's tame. So he said, well, if he's tame, I'll come over and take, right, take, take over, take care of him. So he jumped in the squad car, and he rushes over to Main Street, and he pulls up, and there's the gorilla. And he, you know, he doesn't appear to be dangerous. He's sitting there in the middle of Main Street, smiling, eating a bus. <laughs> and, uh... And Doolittle says, look, Gorilla, he said, I don't want any trouble. And the Gorilla just smiled at him and started biting on the squad car. <laughs> and right at the time, Doolittle was about to, you know, grab the Gorilla by the hand, you know, just try to coax him into the car. A call came in on the walkie-talkie. It said, Doolittle, call him Doolittle. All men are calling Doolittle. It said, Doolittle, there's been a bank robbery. We need you on the other side of town. Doolittle said, well, what about the Gorilla? I sort of take him to the zoo. Phil said, we don't have time for that now, Doolittle. He said, we need you over to catch the bank robbers. Said, delegate that to some, get some citizen in and tell him to take the gorilla to the zoo. <laughs> so, uh, Doolittle says, hey, so brother. <laughs> said, come on over here and I want you to take this gorilla to the zoo. So, brother said, okay, no big thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, uh, so brother leaves with the gorilla. And next day, Doolittle patrolled, you know, <laughs> and he's walking through the park. And he's watching Soul Brother and the gorilla sitting there on the bench, and Soul Brother hugging the gorilla, feeding him peanuts. <laughs> he said, didn't I tell you to take that gorilla to the zoo? He said, yeah, I took him to the zoo yesterday. He said, when he finished them peanuts, I'm going to take him to Disneyland. <laughs> Right back with the real show with Diane Carroll, Freddie Prinz, Paul Williams, and some of the most beautiful girls in America competing in the Miss Earth beauty pageant, along with Geraldine Jones. Holy mackerel. Oh. <laughs>